Hi friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue talking about how we can use the vertical number line to help us round numbers. So our learning goal for today says I can round two digit and three digit numbers to the nearest 10 using the vertical number line. So here's our first problem. It says Ainsley went to the ballet recital that was 17 minutes long. About how long was the ballet recital? So when you see that word about, remember that's telling you that you're rounding to the nearest 10 or to rounding. Okay, so here's my vertical number line. We have our starting point and our end point. We know that there's one 10 and 17. So that gives us, if we break it apart, that's gonna give us one 10. Okay, then we know that one 10 more is two 10, which is 20. So we're gonna go in and put in our lines from 10 to 20. We're gonna label the midpoint, which is right smack dab in the middle with that one ten five ones. Now we're gonna count up until we get to 17. So as we go, we are up to 15, 16, 17. So one ten seven ones in unit form. Now we're gonna to round to the nearest 10. So as we look, oh, I'm sorry, um, that is going to be 20 because it's only three spaces away from 20 and seven spaces away from 10. So 17 rounded to the nearest 10 is about 20. So now we're gonna step this up a notch with our next part of our problem. So we just rounded 17 to the nearest 10 and how will our, how will our end points change if we are now rounding 117 to the nearest 10? So we're adding in like another 100, right? So I'm gonna cover it up and I would have 10 10s instead and then my other 10 from the 17. So as I cover that up, cover up your ones and you're left with 11 10s. So that's gonna come down um, to show 110 on the vertical number line. Now it looks like this. So that's 11 10s. Okay, this is a little tricky as we go through. Now I'm gonna show the top end point. So we were at 20 10s or two 10s before now our end point on this number line, or sorry, our start point on our number line is 1110. So we're going up 110 more, which then turns into 20, which, whoop, bring that in there, is 120. Cover up your zero in the ones place. And now we're gonna take those 12 tens that we have and bring it up to our end point, okay? So that's a little bit tricky as you go forward, but still you can focus on you had 11 10s down here. Now you have 12 10s at your start or your ending point, okay? All right, so we're gonna find the midpoint between 110 and 120. We know that it's gonna be that five in there somewhere, right? So there's 115. Cover up that ones place to help you remember how many 10s there are. So there's 11 10s, five ones, okay? Now we're gonna see where 117 is and see if it's more than halfway or less than halfway between 110 and 120. So let's find 117. There it is. Okay, so is it closer with three spaces to 120 or seven spaces to 110? Which one's closer, friends? Yeah, it's closer to 120. So 117 is about 120. Now notice the about, I can use a symbol, which is this guy right here in that red circle. That means about. When you have instead of an equal sign and you have kind of like an equal sign but it's a little bit squiggly, that means about. So that's when you can tell that someone was using an estimation or they were rounding to be able to find their answer. Okay, so let's do another one. So Riley had a juice box. The juice box had 315 milliliters of juice about how much juice was in her juice box. So again, we have our 315. We're gonna use our vertical number line. You have your starting point and your ending point. We are measuring in milliliters, so I labeled my vertical number line with the unit. Now, I'm gonna cover up the ones place so I can see just how many tens there are. So there's 31 tens which is also 310. Now I just have to go up one more 10 to get 32 tens, okay? Now we're gonna go in 
and then we're going to put in our lines to represent our number line. So from 310 to 320, you have a total of 10 lines. We're going to label the midpoint. So as we go through, the midpoint is going to be three, or sorry, 31 tens, five ones. Okay, so we're really thinking about that 315, cover up that um, tens and be able to label it that way. Now we're going to be able to go up and find 315. Okay, so if we look about how much juice was in her juice box, go through, oh, there's five spaces from here and five from here. Who remembers the rule? What happens when you're right in the middle? Am I going to round up or am I going to round down? What do you do when you're right in the middle? Yeah, you're going to round up. So 315 is about 320. Remember, you can use your approximate symbol. That's what that little guy is in the circle there. So 315 is approximately 320, okay? All right, so you guys are rocked it. Great job with being able to round two-digit and three-digit numbers to the nearest 10. Um, this is a little bit tricky of a strategy, so make sure that you guys head back over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends! <music>